next thing there, it says, and deadly cause. You will not understand that. Go to NLT, what it means by deadly cause. It's not like somebody putting a curse on you. I, this is very powerful here. When you are dwelling, God will deliver you what? From deadly cause, verse 3. From what? The fatal plague. Fatal what? Plague. That's diseases. Fatal diseases. Diseases that kill. Hello, somebody. Amen. Yeah. You have an idea? Yes, sir. Let's look at it. We're, we're looking at something here. These are the benefits. Fatal plague. The, the, no, verse 3. Deadly pestilence. Those are plague. When you talk about plagues and pestilence, you're talking about perilous or deadly diseases. Plague, like the bubonic plague, like even... COVID-19. COVID sicknesses. <laughs> COVID-19. Yeah. Pandemic. Yes, sir. He will deliver you from even the deadly plague, epidemic, pandemic, like we're in right now. He will deliver you. You know why? Let me say something to you, and I want to say this. A whole lot of people who are so panicking about this plague. Let me tell you something. There's no difference between COVID-19 and every other disease. Every disease is a disease it can kill. Mm -hmm. Why they were afraid is because most of them have not been dwelling in the secret place of the High. Even the people in the church. Yeah. Because they've not been dwelling, then they want even us who are dwellers to fear their fear. I don't have any problem with you getting the vaccine or that, but I can tell you that God can protect you from this deadly plague if you are dwelling in him. The world doesn't have God, so they depend on vaccine. The church has God, but the church also, most people are not dwelling in God. They will come and be telling you all kinds of theories that can happen if whatever, whatever. But if you are dwelling in God, say he will deliver you from deadly plagues. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. No, go take it. I'm not. I mean, I'm, I mean, already you are not doing it, so better go take it. Make sure you obey the government. <laughs> I'm not telling you not to take. No, I'm not telling. But I'm telling you that when you dwell in God, you know, you are you are divinely vaccinated. <laughs> yeah. So because you know you, you know you don't have trust in you are not dwelling in Him. You don't have trust. You don't have confidence in Him. So you have to make sure that you have your alternative. Amen. And go for it. But I'm telling you that when you begin to dwell in God, because after COVID-19, there's going to be COVID-20 and COVID-21. So that's why they're already finding <laughs> the variants and Delta. So before, they, before you become the Delta and all those things, learn to start dwelling in God so you can be protected and secure. I'm telling you the truth. It's, it's the word of God. Amen. It's the word of God. And God is true. God cannot lie. Amen. He said he will deliver you from deadly. You know, people don't want us to preach the truth of God's word. Mm. They don't want us to preach the truth of God's word because of other hidden traps mm. <laughs> and agendas, human agendas and plans. Mm. Oh well. Amen. But may you be delivered from deadly plagues, Amen. pestilence, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and sicknesses, Amen. And, and epidemics and pandemics. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Those are dwelling God. Don't don't fear. Don't fear, don't fear all these things. From the one that the thing came out, when there was no cure, God spoke to me. He said, don't fear their fear. Mm. Don't even bother about it. We spoke about it only once in this congregation, and that was it. Amen. Never really bothered about it anymore, because it's not the, you know, uh, every devil is a devil. Yeah. <laughs> there are no different classes of devil. Like you say, okay, this, this, this one is more deadly than other one. People have died of headache, yes, just sir. headache. Say, what, did, what What happened? He just had a headache and he just died. Yes, oh, yeah. So every disease can kill. Mm -hmm. So don't make one disease more uh, superior than the other. It's because you don't understand the dwelling. So the enemy keeps giving you variation. But every disease, anything that wants to kill your life, the enemy has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Yeah, whether it's Corona that kills you or, God forbid, mm -hmm. anything that kills the person, the ki a killer is a killer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but in the name of Jesus, as you dwell in God, you will live to a full old age. Yeah. 
I say you will live to a full old age. As it come, you know, come to a full old age, ripe in a full old age, so shall you live to a full old age. When it's time for you to go, you will not die of any sickness. You will gather your feet on the bed and you will just sleep. So shall it be for you. As you dwell in God, receive the grace, the grace to dwell in God, to abide in Him, to be planted in Him. Say, I receive it. I receive it. Amen. Thank you, Father.